Morning guys, today we're working on a 1992 Mazda Protégé. It's 1.6 liter. Uh, doing a couple things to it today. We're going to change out the spark plugs, uh, the plug wires, the distributor cap, the rotor uh, that goes inside the distributor cap. And one last thing, we're also going to change out the valve cover gasket. Uh, so we'll get right into it. So here's the uh, valve cover. There's going to be uh, several little bolts that you take out. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and there's one right down in there, eleven. Okay, and what I did was I already took them out, kind of speed the process up, and kept them all uh, in order. Um, the plug wires, you just pop those off. Now, before you pop those off, extremely important, you want to either take note of how uh, the uh, wires go into the distributor cap because uh, by screwing up that or connecting them uh, in the improper uh, way will actually make the engine run uh, rougher. It'll uh, interfere with the correct firing uh, with the engine. So that's extremely important. There's also a little hose on this side you just want to pop off and this part right here you just want to pop off as well. So again, from there you just take out the spark plug boots, okay, just like that, I'll just kind of disconnect those, and then the valve cover. In some cases you'll kind of have to tap it uh, with maybe a rubber mallet or something just to kind of free it up, but this one looks like it's uh, already um, very loose. So what I'll do is I'll pull that up. If you look in here you can actually see the gasket. Okay, this is inside the crankcase uh, where all the uh, oil that you put in. And if you notice those little rings on the gasket, those actually go over uh, these little holes actually up in um, those little grommet uh, areas right there. The gasket, by placing them over here, they keep the oil out of the spark plugs. So if you look way down in those holes, that's where your spark plugs are. Any oil gets inside those little spark plug uh, chambers, what will happen is it'll, again, interfere with the uh, firing of the uh, plug itself. Makes your engine run a little rougher. So, a couple things you want to do. Um, when you take out your uh, gasket, you want to thoroughly clean the edges of the valve cover as well as every portion or spot um, on the uh, engine portion uh, where the valve cover and gasket uh, will be put back into place. Also, another important thing that you want to take note of over these uh, ridges or um, areas that rise. Uh, those are kind of critical areas uh, for possible leaks uh, if they're not sealed correctly. So what you want to do is again clean um, every single portion of this uh, spot and in the areas where uh, you've got those rise we've got uh, you can get this at your local Murray's or AutoZone or or any um, car place and it's basically a, a gasket glue uh, that will help seal um, the areas that um, may create uh, possible leaks in the future so that, again that's really important um, so you're gonna put the gasket back on you clean it all up and that will be uh, the end of that um, onto our distributor cap. This is where all the plugs uh, go into and I'll just kinda pull that off for you guys. Inside here, uh, if you look down here, that's called your rotor and when the engine's running that rotor is spinning at a, a pretty high uh, RPM and what that little metal piece right there is doing is it's uh, making contact with each of those uh, points 
uh, giving it the correct firing. Over time what will happen is that uh, little metal uh, portion right there, let me see if I can, yeah that little metal tip will wear down and it won't, um, it won't allow the uh, correct <clears throat> uh, firing or electrical spark uh, to be generated. So what you'll do, it's a very inexpensive part, you just kind of buy the distributor cap and again separately you buy the rotor. Okay and again you tell my fingers are a little dirty you want to make sure this is very clean before you put that in. Um, there's only two screws on on the distributor cap itself. If you look one goes right there and there's one on the complete opposite side which is located right down here. Very easy just use a Phillips screwdriver to get those out and to get the rotor off itself you just grab a hold of that little thing pull it off and put the new one on. Another important thing that I, I forgot to mention in the front disconnect the negative uh, cable to the battery. Anytime you're working on uh, your engine uh, especially anything dealing with the electrical portion disconnect your battery just for safety purposes. And what else? The um, spark plug uh, we're going to take those out uh, another important thing to know about this uh, specific vehicle, uh, the spark plug gap is 0 .044. Okay, so you want to make sure all four of your plugs are gapped to 0 .044. And if you look right there, actually, the last time this was, uh, this gasket was fixed, you can see a little bit of that glue, um, that gasket glue or sealant. Um, so it was uh, used previously and there's another sign of it. Okay, so again very important along those uh, areas that that may lead to possible leaks. Just kind of put some of that sealant on it. And again to get the plugs out I'm using a uh, 5 8 magnetic plug uh, socket and I want to say overall this job will probably take maybe 40, 45 minutes. So, any questions, put them down below. If, if this video helps, do me a huge favor. Subscribe to the channel. You guys, uh, you guys have a great day.